All right, to start this design, we're going to add a text box. And I'm just going to type in the first line up to these three dots and change it all to uppercase. And the font that we're using is called Anton. It is a print font. It's more narrow than the one that it defaults to, which is Open Sans Extra Bold. So we're going to do Anton. I'm going to make it just bigger so I can see. Make sure it's centered so when you drag it and this purple line shows up, it tells you that it's in the middle or you can select um, position and center. Okay, then I'm going to select it, Control D to duplicate it, and <clears throat> do the second line, and then do the same thing, like that. Then I'm going to leave it like that for now, so I can start um, the design part. So in the design, there is a rectangle. So you're going to go to elements and type in rectangle. And I choose the first one I see. And I'm going to use these markers to resize the rectangle. So if you're finding yourself like dragging and it's jumping like that you can hold down control and then it gives you more control on how how much space or how much you're dragging so i'm going to leave it at that i'm going to change this pink to the darker pink um i'm going to select the self-love text box and change the color to white change the color by clicking on this letter a right here with the rainbow line and then i want this text box to actually be the same length as the word self-love so i'm going to Let's see select it and then there's this um, spacing menu right here and then you can actually I'm gonna move it down so I can see but you select the text box that you want to edit and then you're going to do letter spacing and then just drag it out so that it is pretty much aligned with the self-love and then underneath I'm going to space this out just a little bit, but I don't want to space it out too much. Just about that much. Position it center. Oops. All right. Bring that back up. And then to create the little O and the little E, I'm just going to delete this. I'm leaving a space for it. Let me just space it out just a little more. There you go. So I basically just deleted the O and the M and left the space. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this, but this time just need the O and I want it smaller. Just a tad bit. And then make sure that the top of the O is lined up with this F and this R. And then I'm going to duplicate this O and do the same thing with the E. 
So what I'm going to do is select all of these boxes because remember the O and the E and the other letters are in separate boxes. So I want to select all of them and group them so that I can position the whole thing and it's already centered. So I'm going to leave that alone. Next thing is to add the shapes, the abstract shapes. I'm going to add the small rectangle under the O and then above the E. Right? And I want it to be the same length as the O. Sometimes you have to stretch it out vertically for the horizontal, I mean for the, yes, the side markers to show up. So let me show you what I mean. You see right now you don't see the side markers. Sometimes you have to stretch it out and then it'll pop up. So I'm going to do that so it's aligned with the O. You're going to have to play around with it for a little bit until it gets to the size that you want. And then make sure that you position it right underneath where you want it to be. Sometimes this will happen and you can't select the rectangle anymore. It's because it popped behind the layer of letters and then that if that happens you just have to select the letters and just position it to the back okay and I'm just gonna duplicate that for this mm, I don't like how big that is Okay, so I like it I like that better where it's a thinner line and it's right underneath it. So I'm happy with how that is. So I'm going to leave it alone. The next thing we're going to do is add the other shapes that are in the design. And it is a triangle. I'm going to start with this right here. I'll just put it up here for now. Change it to black. Okay, so now I'm going to search for the chevron. It looks like a carrot symbol for me, but it's a chevron symbol. So I'm going to insert the carrot symbol. So over here, I want to change it to pink to match this other, this pink on in the design. And I want it to be above this triangle, so I need to rotate it. So you could either flip it vertically, all right, or you can use these two arrows to rotate in the position that you want it to be. I'm just going to put it over here, just like that. And then I'm going to group it, okay? Because once I group it, I'll have more control over moving the elements. Actually, let me make that a little bit smaller there. So before I group it, I want to duplicate this triangle so control D to duplicate and I'm going to put it to the side for now and then I'll group these two to half for this triangle so I'm going to create a slightly larger triangle and rotate it so that it is upside down because we want to create this pattern. Above 
um, the words. So now you see we have this design and then the triangle. So now you just highlight it. You select it by dragging your mouse above both. Control D and just start duplicating. Make sure you use these guidelines to help you, the dotted and solid uh, purple lines, so that you can um, see if it's even or not. So I'm just going to make it a little smaller, move it to the side so that I can fit one more of these over here. Then you might have to, you know, position so it's where you want it to be and how you want it to look. So right now I'm lining it up with this box right here. And then a tip is to go to file, show guides, or show rulers. If you do that, you can check to make sure that your designs are lined up with each other which is slightly bigger right there so i'm going to move the design over you see so now it's lined up gonna bring it over here and check the same thing looks good that's how you know that it's aligned <laughs> all right so that's pretty much for the design that I'm going to duplicate it and just bring it to the bottom <laughs> bring it down to the bottom we use our rotating arrows to just flip it over 180 degrees and you see those lines popping up to help you center them. I mean, I'm sorry, a line. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Just some small touches. Yep. Yep. Looks good. Once you're happy with the design, you can download it by clicking download right here, select ping, transparent background, and download the page of your design. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Leave us some feedback. Leave us some comments. If you have any comments, um, I'm looking at this and I want to move this down just a little bit. Just because the spacing is not the same. There. That makes me happy now. So I'm going to download it again. Um, page 34, transparent background. Yes, yeah, so if you have any questions, you can send us your questions, any feedback, send us your feedback. Hopefully that was helpful. I want to see um, that you guys try this out, so make sure you tag us in your posts. Thanks for watching.